Welcome back again to another fun-filled stream. So, little story. I'm terrible at scheduling. Uh, I, I thought that I was really clever in scheduling an appointment for Wednesday morning. Uh, uh, except I don't know numbers very well, apparently. Uh, because I got a call on Tuesday morning from my ride being like, hey, you ready? Uh, so yeah, I imagine the receptionist at the doctor's appointment didn't appreciate my uh, fragrant nature because I rolled out of bed and got dressed in a hurry without actually showering. But that's besides the point. We're here now. We're here today. We're ready to roll. Oh, let's move this over. There we go. Okay. I was a little bit worried, because uh, YouTube was being funky. But let's just uh, jump straight into it. Hello, sir. We are going for Hammer Mastery. We should actually run and grab Pioneer's Guidance, in all honesty. Yeah, let's go do that, on second thought. Now that we're in the Crypt Spire, we can actually access Rin Murasame's Blood Code. So we're going to go do that. It has the Pioneer's Guidance gift, which increases the rate at which you master all gifts. Assuming it's all equipped. Oh! Oops, almost forgot my tea. I can take care of it while I'm waiting on this loading screen. Excellent. Just gotta stir it up a bit. Make sure the honey is deserved. Ren. Hey. Amazing. Got us a blood code. Hopefully, we can just master this gift right off the bat. Hopefully. Pioneer's Guidance is incredibly useful. I can do this one-handed while I stir my tea. I've got delicious green tea with jasmine, and also some super mint tea. It's peppermint and spearmint. Let's see, Festus. Oh, there we go. I was worried I needed to collect some cores. Uh, damn it. Last. All right, whatever. It's not a big deal. All right, so we get Pioneer's guidance. We could grab. We probably should grab Inhibit Removal, just in case. The Mito fight can be a little bit nasty. Yeah, let's do that. We shouldn't need Inhibit Resistance. If you're quick on curing the Inhibit before it gets out of control, you shouldn't really need it. Uh, and we'll also grab Vanishing Hollow. That'll come in handy whenever we fight uh, Virgin Born. Cool. Sorry, Fionn. I'll be back in a second. K. 
get rid of that. Pioneer's Guidance. Sure. I'm just glad we can use the hammer without any big problems. Ew. Ew. Maybe? There we go. Sure, we'll toss Hasten on there. Why not? Inhibit removal, we definitely need. And then the same setup as before. Beautiful. Oh yeah, extra i core would be handy. But it's not a deal breaker. <laughs> Too early. So behind the scenes, I've been practicing the DLC and discovered that there's actually five different pipes. One for each of the three DLC bosses, one you start the game with, and finally, a gold-plated glowing pipe of pimpness. It's called Pipe of the Unrivaled. I managed to get it on two of the other characters, but I'm struggling to kill the boss uh, with my level one. When we finish this, we'll probably be um, working on... I'll probably just stream that, if I'm honest. It's, uh, it's, it's a real challenge, well, let me tell you. It's pretty bad... Oh yeah, that's a stamp, I forgot. It's pretty bad, but at least with the right setup, you can just spam spells and get rid of them relatively quickly. However... Getting Jack's alternate costumes is rather difficult. I'm not a huge fan of the Heimdall blood code. And being forced to use it against a boss that's weak to casting and very, very, very strong against melee. Yeah. Well, it's not so much he's strong, is that it's rather hard to dodge his attacks. I am using a Thorn's Blood Veil. I probably should have known, judged by my... Uh, judged by my backstab animation. Bonk. But yeah, Curb Spire itself isn't going to be too bad. We're level 30. We're pretty... pretty well set. A lot of it is just going to be spent... Uh, probably running around the last little bit. Trying to master the skills we need. Although we could get lucky, I guess. Let's get rid of this and toss on Swallow Cutter. Yo, ugly. We'll lure him onto this little bridge so that we don't get shot by the bayonet, dude. Come on, any, any day now, dude. There we go. Now, if we're clever, we can get Big Dude to fall off the edge here. Eh, we didn't get it perfectly, but... Could be worse, I suppose. Oh! Uh, yeah, I got... It got worse. It got real worse. Yikes. You 
You know, going back to thinking about Lord of Thunder DLC, I've been struggling trying to kill the boss with Heimdall without dying at all. If I decide that instead I just want to get the costume and I don't really want the accessories, then that would make things a little bit easier. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh yeah, I should be sitting on a bit of titanium, right? Yeah. Three more and I can upgrade a weapon to plus nine. And since I really don't throw many new accessories on characters I've already created, Oh, hello, friend. I guess just getting the Jack costume would be the main objective. I should go a little bit easier. I can always just come back and kill Lord of Thunder once I learn his moveset a bit better. But honestly, between Frozen Empress and Lord of Thunder, I've I was pulling my eyes out more with Frozen Empress. There's just way too much going on in that fight. I should go buy some daggers, if I'm honest. Uh-oh, we're too close. Yeah. Yeah. Bayonet dude's gonna com be coming around the corner. Yeah, that's unlucky. Just run away. No, thank you. He should piss off. Mm, there he goes. Should be able to just stun lock him. If we get close. Wait, where'd he go? Oh! Oh, that's not good. Well, he hasn't noticed me yet. Hopefully, we can. Please don't notice me. He's noticed me. Damn. Time to run. Alright, good. Uh oh. Uh oh! Oh no! Oh, alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> scared me a little bit. We live in. Alright. Hey, and we got a titanium out of that. Nice. We will be heading over to this side path. Oops. I think I hit my mic. We will be heading over to this side path in order to grab the health item. It's just around the corner here. We'll wait for a second for Cleansing Light to come back.
Oh, yeah, impact wave is making this nice and easy. There is another one creeping up behind us, though. Or not. We didn't get far enough ahead. Hey, that works. Yo, ugly. We're gonna move around to his backside and hit him with another one. Impact wave is gone, but we can reactivate it before he stands up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Aw. Oh. If that's not a kick in the teeth. So, new plan. We're going to grab the health booster item and run. so useful. It's particularly decent with this specific weapon. The huge hammer, burned war hammer, sunset hammer, and I guess the DLC hammer from Hellfire Knight. They all have similar movesets, where the first two, excuse me, the first two hits are uh, direct overheads. Huge Hammer just constantly swings with big hits. And uh, Impact Wave only happens if your weapon strikes the ground. Like those two hits. Technically speaking, the... Oh, what the hell is it called? The Concrete Club? That thing also has the same moveset as all those other weapons. However, its damage is absolute garbage. Not worth it at all. I'll activate this just in case. By the time we finish fighting these two clowns, it should be available again. Back off a bit. Charge up a heavy. Should activate iron. Oh yeah, we're gonna activate iron will now. Excuse me. Not great. He forgot what he was doing. And that's fine. I'm curious about that... Okay, no. I'm just going blind. I, I thought there was an enemy marker on the floor above me. Which, I mean, technically there is an enemy up there. But, uh, it's really just the guy I'm fighting. I couldn't I couldn't see my own marker on the mini-map. Because I was too close to the other dude. I'm really running out of daggers. This is a bad spot to be in. Yeah. Hey, no, fight me. Come on. Oh, shit. We'll wait for the bayonet guy to leave. As soon as he turns around... Nah, that works. This guy, for some, for whatever reason, doesn't like to attack. He'll he'll sit there and wait to parry you. Uh, for this, we're just gonna run. I, I don't feel like dying again. Now you can get all the way over here, but once you cross 
the threshold of the larger circle over there, that's when uh, the greatsword guy will come after you. Alright, we're good. Okay, wish me luck. The other dude's moving. I gotta get rid of him quickly. Come on, please! Alright, we got it. We got this. What is this guy doing? Hey, I'm not going to complain. If he just wants to guard instead of fight me, I am a-okay with that. Alright, he should lose interest any time now. Yeah, yeah, he's he's lost interest. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, hey, I didn't realize I had one of these. Amazing. There we go. Pretty well powered up. I think we're just missing... Yeah, we're missing one of each. The capacity we'll be getting in... Uh, the capacity we'll be getting in government outskirts. And the effectiveness we'll be getting in... What do you call it? We'll be getting it in... the final area after killing Argent Wolf Berserker. Yeah, we're gonna be a little clever in fighting those monkeys. Warrior's a handy blood code. It comes with feral tenacity. Now instead of sliding down, we're just gonna gently go to about here. Squish him! Beautiful. Alright, now we just go for big guy. If you slide down, you can't stop sliding halfway through. You'll just end up surrounded by monkeys at the bottom of the ladder. However, by gently climbing down, you can drop off and squish them. Ideally, you'd want to pull out a bayonet and pop the first two monkeys. But I didn't have enough daggers for that. I want to save a few just in case I have to go through that first area all over again. Although we should be pretty well set. So Misty Ruins map is that direction. I'm not really interested in it. We're not really going through depths maps. Oh wow, look at that. We're almost got that completely leveled up. Same for inhibit removal. Now we might want to actually go for these, if I'm honest. The bad idea area. It's a bunch of fat boys and uh, smaller lost with a black knight at the end. So it's, it, it, it's a maybe. We might do that. Just to finish leveling up Pioneer's Guidance so that we can go back to Fionn and get Hammer Mastery. Unfortunately, Red Shoes is a an exclusive to Fionn's blood code. So, not much we can do there. So we are. We'll grab this wake module. I mean, we could, of course, just uh, unlock Pioneer's Guidance, but it's already at halfway. And yeah, we just need one more wake module. Oh, well, there we go. Beautiful. I was actually in a heated discussion about uh, exclusive blood codes. Like exclusive gifts on Reddit. 
more specifically, somebody was complaining that they don't like how some of the DLC gifts have really high requirements. I'm actually kind of okay with it. They're pseudo exclusive. Can't be used on every blood code all the time. Uh, that, that, that was the gist of my argument. I can't. I'm gonna be honest, I can't believe I dodged that. There we go. I'll collect that for reasons. Does Warrior just have four... Yeah, it just has four gifts, but I believe we need to collect a few cores for it. Oh, wow, that just deleted half of my I-Core. Well, poo sticks. Um... That's not good. That's really not good. Okay, well this fight's gonna get nasty. We should have bayonet guys shooting at us. Which is, yep, there they are. And again, ideally, you'd have a bayonet for that section. Just hit him with a bayonet shot without locking on. And you're free to mop up the rest of these guys without any trouble at all. Likewise, the elemental spike spells are pretty long range. Considering how the Black Knights use lightning, you'd want to stick with the ice elemental spell. Well, ice is actually their main weakness. Gorgeous. How many does that put us at? Hey, we can upgrade something all the way to plus nine. Outstanding. For the upgrade materials, it takes 7 iron, 10 steel, 10 titanium, and then 2 tungsten. This spot's real nasty. I'm not... Yeah, that's a bunch of monkeys. We're gonna run. They can't climb ladders, so by dropping down here, they should file off the edge one at a time. And again, we can also just trap them at the bottom of the ladder, since they won't, uh... Since they can't climb back up, and we can deal with them after we collect the items. But, they've got really poor balance, so Impact Wave is very useful in dealing with them. I hate monkeys so much. They're dead now. Nothing to worry about. Man, I love being OP. So OP. Look at that, level 30. Okay, so let's go ahead and swap this around. There we go, now we've got infinite runaway. Amazing. Pioneer's Guidance still has a little bit to go. But likewise, we've got some 
stuff we still need to take care of. Yay, I guess. Bonk. Right, that's everything? Yeah. Um, I was thinking about changing Blood Veil, but we don't really need to. Night Thorn is decent enough. If you just remember to parry early, you'll be fine. Oh, no. Alright, well, let's activate this. Toss on a little bit more just so that we can use Swallow Cutter. Whack this guy a couple of times. Use Swallow Cutter to finish him. And lure this guy over here. By coming around on the sides, you can fight these guys one at a time. It makes it much more reasonable than trying to fight all three at once. If you charge the center guy, the two ones on the flanks will wake up and ruin your day. Having two hunters in black fire bayonet shots at you really sucks. Alright. Like clockwork. Amazing. That was rather painless indeed, actually. So, this should be the other shortcut leading back to the bottom checkpoint. Come on. Come on. Alright. Honestly, this has been a rather relaxing playthrough. You know, it's, uh... It's, it's real, real, real relaxing. Hammers are good weapons. They're slow and heavy, but their stagger potential is amazing. And they put out some pretty decent damage. After we get the pimp stick of the unrivaled, uh, excuse me, there it is. Whoops. After we get that one, uh, I need to think of what stream I'll be doing next. Use what you see is a. Oh, I already kicked it. The use what you see run would be. Oh, I mean, I guess it could be pretty fun. We wouldn't want to kill anything. We just want to run past most of it. As soon as we acquire a decent weapon. And I will be honest. If I see a weapon, I'll go pick it up. There's just a titanium, I think, over that direction. There's no reason to go fight it. It might even be something even more worthless. There is... No, no, no. The, I was thinking of a camouflage item. The camouflage item is over by the map to Misty Ruins. Not something we need. Get out of here, dude. Oh, wow. That killed him outright. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. What's up, big fella? Time for you to die. I could just cut and run. You can leap off this tower and not take any damage, assuming you jump off at the correct part. And even if you do the wrong part, you'll still take only a little bit of damage. That's the wrong way. This is the correct way. They're just ever so... Oh, no, I, I guess you could just jump off both of them. I thought the the one I jumped onto was a little bit higher up, but... Nah. Nah, that's fine. Okay, this part. There are monkeys in the center, which drop down if you go after the switch in the middle of the room. However, 
if you run around the sides, you can kill these guys before that happens. I'll just bash his face in for the time being. Make sure the other one hasn't woken up yet. Amazing. he was going to get away from me there. Blood is not very effective against those guys, so using a sunset hammer is probably not the best idea. But hey, it works fine enough. I could also have used the Queen Slayer hammer. Oh, that's not good. This is how I die. Death by monkeys. That could have actually gone a lot worse. Monkeys truly frighten me. Especially considering I'm slow rolling. This is a little distressing. It took the entire Crypt Spire just to unlock uh, Pioneer's Guidance. And we're certainly not going to be using this blood code whenever we fight Bladebearer and Cannoneer. You dead. Alright. That's not great. We'll run through the Crypt Spire again. I guess we'll go after the bad idea area. To level up Hammer Mastery a little bit more. I seriously roll past everything except the things I needed to break. Certainly appears that way. There we go. Up, up, and away. We'll send this back down so that reasons. Man, if I was only level 25, we probably still would have had to teleport back to the bottom. Who am I kidding? Uh, we'll go take care of the big bad idea area. I mean, there's no real reason not to. We probably should also take care of the Aos. Gifts, Bridge to Glory. We should do that right now, actually. Oh, right. I need to go unlock them, of course. Uh, Elemental Wall is going to be a huge need. Alright, we got the other two, though. As well as Blood Guard for Mido. But Bridge to Glory and... Elemental wall are pretty much absolutely necessary. Mind vitality would also be quite nice, but it's not a huge priority like the other ones. I probably should have uh, thrown impact wave on. There we go. Just one more dude is all we had to kill for Pioneer's Guidance. Eh, whatever. Wait, there's no reason to respawn him, is there? We can just carry on, right? 
Okay, so get rid of this. Slap on Pioneer's Guidance. Hey, we can move again. Outstanding. Now we could just run straight to the bad idea area. Uh, we might as well go this way first. We could also grab Mind Willpower up from Harmonia. We did save Eva so we can have access to her blood code. I usually try to save her if I'm doing a neutral run. Just because Mind, Pil Mind Willpower is very good. It has so many applications on so many different blood codes. Actually, how much mind does this have? Pretty decent. So I should be able to use Bridge to Glory without having to do much of anything. And I swear they boosted the power of Bridge to Glory. You know what? I want to kill you quickly. Behold the power... oh, or not. Behold the power of red shoes. It also works for sprinting. You can sprint your HP away. I mean, it makes sense considering how sprinting requires stamina. No, it's like I thought we will actually mess with these guys. Whee! Bye, stamina. Oh, that's a lot of pain. Oh, jeez. Right, I knew the bayonet dude was dangerous, but I didn't think he was that dangerous. Holy crap. Jeez Louise. Sweet. Jesus, nipples. That's rough. And we have barely not enough to cast Impact Wave and Red Shoes. Eh, it'll be fine. That is a really long startup. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. I'm not losing 150k haze. Didn't happen. I swear. You're all imagining things. First reset of the stream, though. If I wasn't so greedy with throwing another hit out there, I probably would have been fine. But what can you do? Let's see. As soon as we get Hammer Mastery... Hmm. Should I just use Aeos, now that I think about it? Because the most important things I need are decent amounts of i stats for Bridge to Glory, and all three of the defense buffs. Fire Guard, Ice Guard, and Elemental Wall. You know, Aeos doesn't actually sound like a bad idea. Uh, it depends on how much strength it has. Fion definitely does not have enough i core for all of the stuff I want to do. 
Oh yeah, big news. Since the last time I was streaming, they fixed the bug that happens whenever you uh, pick up the... whenever you fight the third DLC mini-boss. It drops perfectly fine now. Although the workaround was pretty straightforward, just don't repair all of the cores until you've collected them. But, eh, whatever. It's fixed. It doesn't matter now. Okay, same song, second verse. Oh wait, Fionn can't use Blood Sacrifice. Yeah, that is kind of a deal breaker. Please don't kill me again. Oh, that was a little bit too early. The problem with the Sunset Hammer is the third ha uh, hit does not uh, proc Impact Wave. So you can very easily ruin your stun lock combo if you're not careful. Hello, you fiend. Sleep now, you ruffian. Oh, hey, nice. I'll take that. Let's see, moving on. Be, be dead. Be dead already. Okay, I did actually equip Pioneer's Guidance. I got really scared there for a split second. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. We are getting a healthy amount of Queen's Titanium as well. Uh, let's activate these. That's probably gonna kill him. Yeah. Did you drop anything? Nip. Negative. Okay, this part. Oh boy. I am out of daggers. That is an issue. There are plenty of daggers in the depths. Almost every depths map has daggers, if I'm not mistaken. But, jeez. I really don't want to go down there. Come on, man. Probably should have activated... Cleansing Light instead. Yep, that's death again. I died the exact same way twice. Uh, uh. I should have, rather than focusing on the Black Knight, I should have gone to backstab Fat Boy. And just kept backstabbing one after the other. Oh well, we need the experience. And I'm starting to feel Fionn's not actually that great of a blood code. I'm gonna blame my own uh, inadequacies on Fionn. Yep, a 
little bit too early. Well, that's why we got Cleansing Light. I could go up and then loop back around to grab my Haze. That way I don't have to fight all those dudes again. Or rather, I'd probably still fight them just from a different direction. Parrying guy probably wouldn't be much of a problem in that circumstance. And I could lure the bayonet dude out onto the platform and probably have Fat Boy ignore me. But, I don't know. I wonder if Mito has some way of controlling these lost. Because they seem to be put in very, very particular places. Mito's all about that corrupt science, however. So I wouldn't be shocked in the least if he devised some way to control Lost. Like, there's a Lost patrolling next to a Black Hunter. And the Black Hunters are the ones that are Mito's puppets. They're directly under his control. And they're just kind of chilling next to each other. And these Lost are supposed to be cr more like crazed beasts than actual, you know, foot soldiers. Maybe they're kept in line in a, you know, like, might makes right sort of way. They don't go after the Hunters in Black, because the Hunters in Black could just tear them to shreds. Right, final dagger. We're definitely going to go buy some as soon as we get our haze. Hammer Mastery is about only half done. That's really annoying. Come on, Lumpy. Yeah, get out of here. We'll do overdrive instead of adrenaline. Backstab this guy. And while he is struggling to get back up, We'll head this way and collect our haze. Oh, fat boy fell off the edge. Fantastic. He must have tried to swing at me as I ran past. Beautiful. I love how that works out sometimes. You know how I said we were going to bail and collect our haze another time? I might have lied. Come on, you want to get me, right? Come get me. There we go. Now we only have one monkey to deal with instead of four. Now we only... Now we have no monkeys. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and died to fall damage. Very good. You didn't drop anything, did you? No. We've finally made it back to the bad idea area. Huzzah. I think we'll be using Impact Wave. I don't know. We've got enough to fire up a few of these gifts. 25, 30. Yeah. And we can just activate Adrenaline as we see fit.
red shoes are amazing. Good. Oh, the impact wave's gone. I made it dumb. Get rid of those guys. We didn't drain them because we killed them outright with the launch attack. And besides, the launch attack wouldn't activate it if you send more than two people flying. Which is kind of lame, but it could be worse, I guess. Activate this, and this, and this. We should activate Cleansing Light while he's standing back up. Same for Iron Will. And when the Hunter in Black shows up, we'll activate Frost Weapon as well. This is a Bumafu. Is this the final, ha the final wave? Oh, it's two. It's just two fat boys. Okay. It may look like it activated, but in reality it did not. Uh oh. We should heal, just in case. Yeah, I was a little late on that dodge. Mistakes. Mistakes were indeed made. Get out of here! Alright, got a single one of them. This uh, greatsword one's almost dead anyways. They're about the same. Ah, damn. Iron Will's gone, same for Cleansing Light. You know what? Oh, right. That was a mistake. Whoops. I was like, this should finish off one of them. Uh, if both hits connected, it probably would have. Uh, however, I'm bad. Well, that's fine, I guess. We've got the one dude right here. And we can take the shortcut and return to the bad idea area. Almost done with Hammer Mastery. And we can toss Fionn aside. Probably should get Feral Tenacity. Considering how I don't have a partner to revive me. Feral Tenacity is quite good in that circumstance. ED. And the rewards for the bad idea area are, fittingly enough, pretty garbage. I think it's just some haze. Maybe a region inducer. A life gym, if you will. Minor healing item is what I'm trying to say. Alright, round two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Waiting for Cleansing Light to come back, so no big deal. Late on the dodge there. Could have parried him. I think I will. Won't activate red shoes just yet. Will activate impact wave, however. There you are. 
Did a pair again? No, it's just a few little guys. don't know which one's worse, the giant halberd guys or the giant sword guys. Giant sword guy has an attack where he crouches down and um, thro uh, throws out a very powerful slash, which is incredibly annoying. But generally, he's not too bad to fight. It's a little difficult to parry. Giant Halberd guy, however, has got a really long reach thrust, and that can catch you off guard. Not a fan of that. Who's next? It's the double. Alright, well, we're gonna activate this now. Always make sure I have enough to dodge. got one of them. We're going to try to focus one of them down. Hopefully that'll work. Get the sword guy out of the way. Not worth it. Because that looks like a hunter in black coming after me now. Uh, what? No. Very bad. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that was going to be death the moment he came after me. Yikes. Just give me hammer mastery already. Jeez, I'm tired of dying here. Uh, probably... Probably going to need to level up for... Blade Bearer and Cannoneer as well. I could skip out on Cleansing Light instead and use uh, some other gift combination. Probably Impact Wave and Iron Will would be good together. There we go. I was... I just needed to kill those last two guys and I would have got Hammer Mastery. Okay. Alright, if you say so. Let's collect our Haze and we'll teleport back to the checkpoint. And then from the checkpoint, teleport to home base. Yikes, that was a mess. Um... Warrior, we should be able to just uh, purchase Feral Tenacity. Improved Regeneration might not be a bad idea, actually. We won't have... Uh, we won't really have the ability to... Like... Heal a whole bunch of times... So improving the capacity at which we heal would be a good idea. We can also grab Heimdall and use Regeneration Shift from that blood code. Back to home base. It doesn't matter which blood code I have currently equipped. I was thinking about changing it around, but 
Deh. That's a little pointless. I'm going to go have a cigarette while this loads up. I'll be right back.
Right, we're back. Okay, so we'll save before we go and do anything. Because we're back at home base. It's a recipe for disaster. Wake up. Come on, any day now. Come on. Thank you. Okay, so. Oh, right. We have to do all the Hephaestus vestiges first. Eh, whatever. Let's start with... Wait, I'm missing one? I must be missing the one outside of... Uh, whatever it's called. Outside of Nicola's Arena. Well, let's grab the ones we have. Should we go for true ending? Eh. It's a small time investment. I'll make my decision when we actually get to Virginborn. Or, more specifically, when we get to Skull King. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Hey, it moved me. Eos. I mean, Io. Your words have moved me. Specifically, they've moved me slightly further away from you. Alright, outstanding. We got Bridge to Glory, we got Elemental Wall. This is grand. Should be able to... Oh, no, wait. They both take two twelves. I hope I've been saving up uh, Awake 212 modules, or we're going to have to do a little bit more farming. Yeah, I'm not super hopeful. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I skipped it, didn't I? Uh, let's go ahead and do all the Hephaestus ones so we can grab Feral Tenacity as well. Considering I'm not using any of the pre-order bonus deal, the uh, any of the extra gifts, I won't be using gift extension for this challenge. We like to keep it vanilla for these challenges. So instead of gift extension, we could slap on Feral Tenacity. Uh-huh, yeah, whatever. Well, while she's waking up, we'll go save again. Because when we go back, she should be awake. Yep, there we go. And then we'll do Hephaestus 3, and then we'll get Warrior. And then we'll be good to go. Watch Feral Tenacity need Awake 212s. That'd just be my luck. We'd have to do a little bit more farming. Warrior's a not great blood code. It's got a super low I-Core capacity. So that's, uh, yeah, that's a problem. But fingers crossed, we should just be able to get Feral Tenacity outright. Should we go for the Harmonia stuff? Nah, we should be fine. We, sh we should be fine without needing 
to grab mind willpower up. I do plan on using Aos for fighting for, uh, Blade Bear and Cannoneer. And probably Mito as well. Why not, right? Bridge to Glory requires a healthy amount of mind skill, uh, mind stat to be able to use. Alright, wake up again. I probably could have chanced just finishing it off, but never know. They have improved stability in home base with the most recent patches, though. Finally, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad you can skip this stuff. Now, my goal for today is to get past both Bladebearer, Cannoneer, and Mito. Surprise, your teammates really cared about you. Right. Let's check and make sure there's nothing else we need. Yeah, Hermes we're not going to really be going for. Don't really need any of that. Wait, I'm missing an Artemis one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, I skipped over it because I didn't need it. Isis we're not going to be using. We plan on meleeing Skull King to death, which is going to suck. No doubt. Um... Another strength one. We do need that. Oh, we should be okay. Alright, yeah, let's just bolt. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Now we find out. Please be awake modules. Yes! Alright, beautiful. Snatch that up. Don't really need anything from there. Nothing from Survivor. 90% certain these require 212s. Oh, hey, I've got plenty of them as well. Outstanding. So we don't have to do very much farming. That pleases me greatly. We'll hold off on that for now. Alright. Here we go. More pain. Probably should have leveled up on, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine to level up. I don't believe... There's anything we really desperately need to get in order for these fights. Should have we should have everything all leveled up for the rest of the game. So we can spend our remaining haze on levels. We'll get as many as we can. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Level 100. Eos. Put that on there. Put that on there. And we want... No, we're using a Ivy Blood Veil. We might swap to a Claw. What else would we want? We're going to get whacked an awful lot. So that would be handy. It's not really super necessary, come to think of it. Mm. Let's do damage. 
get rid of those. Bridge to glory. Fire. Ice. Elemental wool. Not enough for feral tenacity. What does feral tenacity need? More willpower, really? Oh man. Uh, how much willpower? Willpower of B. How much do you have? Oh, I just need one more willpower up. Of course. That's not a huge deal. Do we have a strength willpower upgrade? I know one exists. I just don't know who has it. It might be Hermes. No, no, no. Hermes just has strength. Willpower, strength... That's dexterity, willpower. That's mind. Ah, there we go. That's slightly worrisome, but it should be fine. I believe... maybe... We might actually have to do a little bit more farming. We might have enough wake modules. I was a little bit of a fool for leveling up so much. I knew. I knew in the back of my head, I was like, I shouldn't do it quite yet. But what can you do? <laughs> Save here again. Oh, we don't even have enough haze since we've leveled up. Whoops. All right, well. While we're waiting for Io to wake up, we can pop some of this haze. Come on. There we are. And now we will view a touching re- just kidding. Ugh. Right, I believe we still don't have enough haze. Not a big deal, we can always just pop more. Wait, where's... There we go. Yeah, 36k. Whoo! A little bit much. But we're fine. Grab this up. We need four more awake modules. Which is not great, but we can manage it. I really want Feral Tenacity. That will come in handy in case Cannoneer decides to blast me at the same time uh, Blade Barrier is slashing at me. We might not need it, but it'll come in handy. It'll come in handy for the Mito fight, too. Mito does a lot of damage. So being able to block, like, keeping him from insta-killing us will be nice. Okay, well, back to this one. Be in strength, but thankfully we don't really need it for our, uh, the, the thing that we're doing. Rodent's ambition would be really nice. Um... We'll just throw that on there. 
Can't use bridge to glory. Oh, it's a B plus. Good to know. We'll just fill in some. Uh... Yeah, we'll pop that on there. Why not? What else should we put on? You know what, no. Let's do two separate melee skills. We put Feral Tenacity down here. Iron Will, Cleansing Light, yada yada yada. There we go. Oh, look at that, we even have normal mobility. You know, the old poop shoot blood coat is one of my favorites. It's got very, very good uh, mobility and dexterity. And a healthy amount of other stats as well. So it's not bad. Oh boy, that's gonna take a while. Oh man. Well, we should be able to just kill everything very, very quickly at least. And if we end up getting four wake modules before we level up the blood code, we can just skip straight away to having it maxed out. I'm so strong now, I don't know what to think. Meh. <laughs> that would be handy on any other casual playthrough. But we're really not going to go to the depths to expand Shang's inventory, so the old world materials are pretty useless. Nobody has a uh, specialized hammer, anyways. The damages! Oh, there's one of them that we needed. This isn't too bad. If we had Revenant's Greed, that'd be a little better. Oh, I forgot daggers. Oh, well. We're just going to have to do this like a moron. We need to move before that guy comes after us. That was risky. All right, there we go. Got rid of big dude. Pop him once. Oh, he didn't go flying like I thought he would. We still laid him out, so that's good at least. We should check and see if the huge hammer or the, oh, what do you know? Sunset hammer is still slightly better. Do they nerf the huge hammer or something? Eh, no big deal. I like the sunset hammer. Normally we wouldn't actually go after these guys, but why not? Oh, he got me. Let's try to kill him quickly before he kills us. Got just enough I core to fire off cleansing light and iron will. The idea with these quick shield enemies is you want to roll into their shield bash. Nine times out of ten, they'll lead off with a shield bash and will either stab or slash at you after that. So by rolling into their shield, you put them out of range of the slash or stab. You could also roll backwards away from the shield bash, but if they follow up with a stab, you're stabbed in the face. So that's bad, obviously. Uh, let's just activate everybody, why not? I'm powerful. hit 
run tactics. Oh, I was out of stamina. Monkeys really don't give much in the way of experience. So I probably could have just bolted and been fine. And we're making progress with strength willpower up. Go ahead and do the bad idea area because why not? I don't like Squat Man over there. Oh, I probably could have sent him flying if I was paying attention. He's dead now. That's fine. first. Okay. Be that way. Yoink. And I'm secretly hoping for materials by going through here. Awake modules, that's what I was meaning to say. Not materials. He can whip around on that last hit, so it's usually a better idea to just wait for him to finish. Back off and hit him with a dragon lunge. Shouldn't have said materials, because now that's what the game's gonna give me. We wanna kill Black Hunter guy first. Ah, he's got me. And I panic rolled away from that. I was hoping I could be clever. Okay, this is bad. Feral tenacity, thank you! Alright, we're dead. Damn it. You know, I was like, yeah, I'm strong, there's nothing to worry about. We're very dead. We're very, very dead. Well, we need the experience, so let's kill our way back through again rather than taking the shortcut. Actually proceeding rather smoothly as far as experience is concerned. Hello there, sir. Might even not need all of the awake modules. I was fully expecting it to take uh, farming out the awake modules to take less time. But no, we're, we're doing okay. We're 
We're gonna be obnoxiously well prepared for Mido. And Blade Bearer and Cannoneer. Get too close to this bridge, the other guy's gonna wake up. Yeah. Right, well, he's dead. Oh, that one's dead now. Didn't drop anything, though. We should also upgrade our weapon to plus nine. I kinda sort of don't want to use the Sunset Hammer. I mean, it'll be good and everything, but there's a lot of enemies that are resistant to blood. Would you stop shooting me, please? Swallow Cutter is so good. Should we go after those other... Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. The Greatsword Jerks are very dangerous. Right, well, time to leave. Oh, come on, that was supposed to be a sprint. But the switch was in the way. Come on, get out of the way, Switch. I tolerated you because you were a decent Nintendo platform. Time to leave! Time to leave, guys. Yeah, none of those guys can climb ladders, so... We can heal up without worry. and then we can drop on their heads. That is good enough. I swear, monkeys, get out of here. They're weak to fire, so I probably should have switched to the burned warhammer. Make things a little bit easier on myself. If we can clear this bad idea area, we should be set as far as experience goes. We can just teleport around and prepare for Blade Baron Cannoneer. Shockwave got this guy. Dicey. Ah, damn it, he broke me out of it. Alright, fine. I'll kill you like that.
probably have enough to level up. Uh, we've almost got enough to level up a blood bale as well. I want to... I need to decide what weapon I actually want to finish the game with. I need to activate Iron Will again. Oh boy. Alright, he's buffing. Barely in time again. I'd like to conserve Icor. We're about to lose Quinzen White. That is the big guy. You know what, let's run so that we can reactivate Cleansing Light. They'll chase me for a good distance. Oh, I can't be... Uh oh I was about to say, I can't believe how lucky I am. Because he's doing his squat thing. that. That's fine. There we go. Beautiful. We got everything we needed. Cool. We can also upgrade two things. There's enough tungsten in the final area to max out two items. So we need to decide which weapons we actually want to use. Head back to home base. We'll swap to the Aos core. Apply all the stuffs that we want. And then while we have Aos equipped, we'll check and see which hammers are actually our best option. Since we're at level 100, the impulse anchor should lose out to a couple of other weapons, but I should check it anyways. Again, we can also fortify whatever weapon we want. I'm certain we've got more than enough brandy, thanks to picking up a whole mountain of it in Ashen Cavern. We could... We might also just wait until we get the uh, Ivory Grace Blood Veil. Ivory Grace is quite amazing as far as that's concerned, as far as weight is concerned. Swap that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Burned Warhammer is not that great. Huge Hammer is also okay. Impulse Anchor, not as grand as I thought it was going to be. Queen Slayer Hammer, that's actually pretty good, honestly. We might do the Queen Slayer Hammer, if I'm honest, because uh, Juggernaut Sledgehammer. Well, let's wait a minute. How much steel do we have? We can check. Oh yeah, we got we got we got a ton of steel. Let's go ahead and upgrade the juggernaut hammer just to see. If we can get it to plus six. I think the juggernaut hammer might be our best bet. Who would have thought Oliver's hammer is better damage? Uh it's a slow, and this is normal. I think we're gonna do Queen Slayer Hammer on second thought. As soon as we get to... As soon as we pick up the Ivory Grace, that'll probably change. Outstanding. Ah, oh, that's so amazing. Yep, see you later. Alright, well, let's do this. Wait, 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 wait. I want daggers. 
We can also pick up some inhibit renewal as well. Buy a set of. Oh, we've got the haze to throw around. We probably won't level up more past this. Uh, we don't need those anymore. What else was I gonna get? Daggers. There we go. That's more than enough. Never have to worry about daggers ever again. Daggers will be fantastic for luring enemies to us. So I don't really know which other one, like what other enemies would really need daggers for. We could have picked up an Atlas Chrome, although that would probably push the weight limit of the Queen Slayer Hammer over the edge. What if, uh... Juggernaut Hammer wouldn't be a bad uh, candidate, just because it's already so damn heavy to begin with. But the Queen's Lair Hammer... We should, be, we should be fine. Normal mobility is decent enough. Alright, here we go. Going after Bladebearer and Cannoneer. And that'll be good enough. We can activate Bridge to Glory after the first hit. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. We should be fine, though. We'll focus down... Blade Bearer. I was waiting for Cannoneer to do something. We should probably separate them. What am I doing? Oh, I was hoping I could tank that. Oh no, that's bad. We need to separate them again. I am not going to be able to get away with it. I thought I could... This is going really bad. Please, you two. Be reasonable. That hurt. But at least we can get our other two buffs off. Wow, this is kind of messy. never going to be able to activate Cleansing Light. There we go, finally. I can get away with it. I'm going to do it.
we really need i -Core quite badly. Quit dancing around. I'm gonna do it, because we need to have both of our elemental buffs up, at the very least. What are you guys doing? Yeah, if you're not gonna come after me, I'm just gonna keep buffing. Big dude. Make like that. That was kind of crazy. Her shield did nothing. If you're gonna give me an opportunity to use cleansing white, I'll take it. She's dead. Easy peasy. Tidy up fat boy, and we're done. <laughs> I'm very over-prepared for this fight, apparently. Uh, you know it's a relaxing challenge when you beat Bladebearer and Cannoneer on the first try. Greatsword are two of the best weapons to use for this fight. Because if you can knock Bladebearer or Cannoneer off balance, you can't really do much. You can't get away from this. Stop trying to run. That was a little too much. Slightly overkill, but... very dead. Right. So we'll swap this for inhibit removal. Swap this for blood guard. And we'll do it all over again. Watch Mito go down like a sack of bitch potatoes. This is way too much, in all honesty. <laughs> uh, he doesn't really do much blood damage in his first phase. We discovered that during the casting only challenge. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was a bit of a wasted effort. But it's all good. 
We'll definitely be regaining an FI core by the time we hit phase two. Everything should have cooled down as well. Hello, sir. Be gentle. Mito also has pretty poor balance. We'll reclaim some of our uh, stamina. And we're just gonna run. Phase two. Pretty well set. We'll activate this again. I couldn't shake him out of it, so that's unlucky. Not that attack. That's the worst. Just get out of there. Ooh, too early. Too early. I'm not gonna let him inhibit me. I thought that would be a good time to heal. Really wasn't. I don't think so. First try, Mito as well. What? What is going on here? What is this? Who am I? And what have I done to become so good? I can't believe that. That was textbook. And hammers are great. This is the least amount of trouble I've ever had on Mito. I don't know, the Great Sword was pretty easy as well. Yay, now we can access the DLC. We're not going to, but we can. We will grab the pure blood that's hanging out down here though. Yoink. That was incredibly painless. Let's go ahead and get set up for the next area. We'll just keep rolling with Ish uh, Eos, because why not? There's a lot of dogs and stuff, so we want to have a lateral attack. We'll do Swallow Cutter instead. Inhibit removal is not really a thing. We will do Blood, however, because if the Batgirls in the government outskirts decide to buff their weapon. We'll want that. The uh, Feral Tenacity can stay. It's quite good. We didn't even really... We don't even really need the um, health boost, actually. There's not really anything I could slap in there to replace it. Not bad, not bad at all.
And once we get past the boss of this area, we'll have access to Ishtar, one of my favorite blood codes. It's really good for co-op. Less useful if you're going through on, uh, if you're going through solo. Oh yeah, definitely needed those. Um, let's grab us a screenshot for next time. I want to get, excuse me, what am I stuck on? Help! Help! Send help! My camera's stuck. There we go. Uh, we'll advance one more frame. That's just an enormous cacophony of light. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Big old Queenslayer hammer. Yeah, yeah, this will work. This will work as a screenshot for next stream. Uh, I I do have to help a friend of mine on Saturday, so the Saturday stream might be slightly delayed, but maybe not too much. The uh, we'll, we'll we'll play by ear. In fact, we might even uh, we might even have helping the friend be part of the Saturday stream. I'm gonna help them with Virginborn, so hopefully that will only take one chance. I'd rather not stream it because they live an ocean away from me. And that's just begging for lag. Pairing that with the uh, stress on the upload limit because I'm streaming. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get absolutely roasted by Virgin Born, electro fried, if you will. So we'll we'll see. We'll we'll st we'll. Hmm. I'll make my decision on Saturday. <laughs> well, again, thank you for joining me. This went rather smoothly. And uh, I'm glad it was so painless. Wonk. Oh, it's... The hammers, hammers are good. I like hammers.